Peace and goodness, dear students. Welcome to our English class. First of all, we have to pray to our the, uh, to our mother. Okay. We have to see a video about this Mary prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Okay guys, let's start with our lesson for today. Now we have a review about tastes and tictures, okay? Let's remember about the tastes and tastures vocabulary about that we have all of them learned. For example, we have in this case, we have in this case, salty, okay? Spicy, juicy, crunchy, creamy, mushy, crazy, sweet, sour, bland. And also we have a next column about the correct meaning of Spanish. For example, salty, salado, spicy, picante, Juicy, jugoso, crunchy, crocante, creamy, cremoso, mushy, blando, crazy, grasiento, sweet, dulce, sour, ácido, bland, Insipid. Okay? All these kinds of words about our textures and textures vocabulary. Okay? Next part. We have a big picture about the textures and vocabulary that we heard it wrong. And all these kind of words are adjective. Okay? You have to remember that all these kinds are adjective. We usually use the tastes and textures vocabulary to describe different kinds of food. For example, we have some examples, same word, some examples like sentences. Number one, oranges are juicy and delicious fruit. In this case, we use two kinds of tastes. Number two. I think creamy foods are disgusting. Number three, carrots are crunchy and nutritious. Number four, spicy foods are fantastic. Five, I like spaghetti because it's mushy. Six, I don't like avocado because it's bland. Repeat after me, juicy, delicious, oranges are juicy and delicious fruits, creamy, I think creamy foods are disgusting. Crunchy. Carrots are crunchy and nutritious. Spicy. Foods are fantastic. Spicy fruits are fantastic. Mushy. I like spaghetti because it's mushy. Bland. 
I don't like avocado because it's black. Very good, guys. Let's continue with the next part. Let's practice together. Complete the sentences with words to describe taste and texture. For example, number one. Sugar isn't sour. Sugar isn't sour. So, it is. Do you remember this part? Sugar isn't sour. It is. What is the correct option for this part? Sweet. That's right. This is the correct answer for number one. What is about number two? Hot pepper sauce isn't bland. Is, what is for the next part? Spicy. Hot pepper sauce. Number three. Lemons aren't sweet. They are, what is the correct answer for number three? Lemons aren't sweet. They are sour. Very good. Let's continue with the next part. Four. Crackers are in mushy. They are. What is the correct answer? They are crunchy. Okay. Very good, guys. This is the next part. Good exercise. Next part. Write as many adjectives from the box that you think. Best describe the taste and textures of the food items. Now we have a chart here. We have a chart with all the words about tastes and textures. For example, crunchy, creamy, salty, sweet, sour, bland, Spicy, greasy, mushy, and juicy. And also we have to work with all these words. Where? Here, for this exercise. Okay? We have to complete according to this kind of food. For example, apple. We have an apple. What do you think about apple? What do you think about is the best describe uh, taste sound textures that you can use for describe apple? For example, crunchy. And how about orange? Sour and juicy. And also you can use other kinds of this word, okay? Do you remember that here is what you think? Okay, it's not a specific answer. Number three, cheese. What do you think about cheese? I suppose that you can think it is salty. That's right. And also, most of them you can use, for example, marshy also is correct. What happened with number four? Donuts. Sweet. That's right. It can be sweet. And also, it can be crunchy, also, okay? And what happened with stick? Stick, salty, and also you can describe with crazy. And how about french fries? Crazy, salty again, and also most of them you can think about that is, uh, for example, uh, you can use a uh, crunchy also is another option. And what happened with lasagna? Marshy and creamy, no? And sometimes you can use, uh, for example, spicy is good. And um, what about cake? Sweet. Also you can use crunchy. Also you can use marshy. Some, uh, sometimes you can use crazy, okay? All this kind of, um, to describe this kind of food is alternative, okay? It's what you think. Very good, guys. This is another kind of exercise for you. And next, we have a homework, okay? We have a homework. And what 
what, what do you do for this homework now? This is an activity and also is in, in the cubicle, okay? First of all, write a day of today. Today is Wednesday, 6 May 2020. Write also the competence, adapt the test. Also write achievement, use conventions. And as a topic or title, you have to write review the tastes and textures. Where? In your English notebook, okay? This is first. Second of all, write this formal format in your English notebook in order to fill in the blanks with a listening part. Okay, we have to complete this part with a listening session. For example, in your notebook, as you can see here, is a format. The same as um, like this, you have to write the same of this example in your English novel. For example, first of all, you can write a date, the competence, the achievement, and the title. Then you can write this part, okay, in order. For example, volunteer number one, okay, two dots, description, okay, is in the blank, and also mystery food is in blank. Why? Because you have to listen a, a listening section about um, food contest. And as soon as you listen the, um, the audio, you have to complete this part. Okay? In the listening session, we have four volunteers. Okay? Each volunteer describes many kinds of food. So, in this part, you have to write and use the textures and textures. For example, if you listen, um, Gracie, you write Gracie here. And also, you listen Blanc, write Blanc here. And also, to complete this session, misery food, what is it? Lasagna, lasagna, okay? You have to write here, lasagna. Okay, that's right. It's an example. Okay, and also you can uh, do this part like this, volunteer number one, volunteer number two, volunteer number three, and also volunteer number four. Okay, and then finally, okay, you have to write here, and then you have to listen the conversation about guess the food. Okay, the conversation about the guess the food contest. And write the words that describe each food, okay, here, okay, using textures and textures. And complete, what is the mystery food? What is the mystery food that is quite here? Okay, you are ready, you have to listen carefully. Here, in this part, listen to these people tasting different types of food, okay? In this part, we have to listen and you have to pay attention about the conversation, okay? Let's start. Are you ready? Okay. Let's start. Welcome to our guest food contest. Four volunteers for the audience are going to wear a blindfold and taste these foods without seeing or smelling them. Can they guess what they are eating? We start with volunteer number one. Mmm, I eating this with a spoon. It's a little greasy, but it's also crunchy, salty, and sweet at the same time. Oh, it's tasty of nuts. I think... I know exactly what is it. It's peanut butter. Well done. That's the correct answer. Now, volunteer number two. This is a interesting. Okay, I eating this with a fork. 
is creamy and sweet. Definitely sweet with a sort of lemony flower. Oh, and it's got a crunchy cookie type of base a bottom. Mmm, delicious. I think it's cheesecake. Yes, that's right. It was lemon cheesecake. Congratulations. And now, volunteer number three. Lexi, I'm holding a piece of this food in my fingers. Yes, it's very juicy. Uh, it's really sour. That's a lemon. Sorry, are you okay? But you did very well. And you were right. This is a lemon. And now our last volunteer number four. It's so often mushy. I eat in this with a fork. But it's quite salty. Oh, yes. I'm very, very hot and spicy. Oh, it's burning my mouth. I recognize this. It's fried beans with chili peppers. It's spicy, that's right. Well done and thank you to all of our volunteers today. Okay, guys, thank you very much. This is our topic for today. Take care. I hope that you like this part. And also, take care and blessings for all of you. Thank you.